Let's take a look and see who we've got here. Hi, we're the Ryries. I'm Jen. This is Scott. Scott. <laughs> Scott and I met on my first and only blind date. Yeah, that's when I fell in love with her. And knew at that point we'd be together forever. And we have four children. Our daughter, Celia, is nine. Oh, Halden is seven. We've also got a three-year-old, Blake, buddy. and Brody, our one-year-old. I'm in investment sales, and I leave early in the morning about 4.30, and I'm home about 2.30. How's it going? While Scott's working, I stay home and look after the kids. This happens pretty much every day. Blake's the biggest problem we have right now. Blake! Oh my goodness! Blake! Whoa! Blake tends to run off all the time. It scares the life out of me. That little boy's just run into the street. I'm truly afraid for his safety. Blake! But I don't think it's a problem. He's just being a kid. Blake! It's a huge trial to take Blake out in public, especially with four children. Blake, stay here. No times at our house are a disaster. Stop! Mm -hmm, that's funny. Come finish eating. All of them are up running around. Jen and I disagree on our parenting styles. We're not having snacks. What's the deal? He has a snack or not? Then he doesn't eat dinner. That's the problem. The behavior in the house makes me feel horribly frustrated. I obviously feel that I'm failing as a mother. <laughs> Super nanny, I've hit a brick wall. I don't know what to do. I'm at a loss. Please, please, we need your help. Guys, you really do need my help. I'm on my way. Scott. Joe seems just amazing. I was very surprised when she came in so warm and kind. This is Celia. Hi, Celia. Pleased to meet you. This is Halden. Hi, Halden. Pleased to meet you. I'm Jojo. Jo. And, <laughs> and this, this is Brody. Brody. Hi, Brody. Let's shake hand. Say hello. When I first met Joe, I was a bit apprehensive, but hopefully she'll be able to help the things we need help with. And this ah, guy here, hiding. that's Blake. <laughs> Hi, Blake. Are you going to shake my hand and say hello? It's Jojo. <laughs> okay, come on in. Yay. Yay. All right. So whilst we're here, I know that you've got issues that need to be addressed. Mm -hmm. Yes. And I'm going to help you resolve those. But for now, what I want you to do is just carry on as normal. I'm going to be a fly on the wall and just observe and take mental notes, OK? okay. Wonderful. All right, Great. Brilliant. Thank All right. you. This morning, Mum was getting the kids ready for school and she was helping them get dressed. OK, where did Blake go? Did you see him? Come here, let's go find Blake. Blake! Blake! Do you know where Blake is? My first thought was, oh, my God, he's gone outside the door, he's gone across the road, a car might hit him. Blake! He's where? That boy just runs across. He doesn't look left or right. It is so dangerous. Blake, where are you going, darling? Look, Mummy's here now. You're going to go with Mummy. Honey, Mummy only has two eyes. I can only keep track of a few of you at a time, OK? Yeah. You know I was very busy. Is this something that happens all the time? All the time. All the time. Yeah, I mean, his his friend lives here, and they play all the time. And I mean, they're great, great it, friends. It yeah, but see, Scott, do you know he was over there, clear across the street? Yeah, he was returning a toy, I think. Okay, but don't you think it's a problem that he's just running outside on his own and running across the street without letting me know? I'll talk to him about it if you want. Can you I don't think it does any good. Jen tells Scott that her son runs across the road, but he just laughs at her. I worry about their safety a lot. Scott's much more lax about that, and so we tend to argue or disagree about that. How does that grate on you? It's hard because he feels very strongly that he's right, and I feel very strongly that I'm right. And unfortunately, with our types of personalities, there's not a lot of compromise sometimes. <laughs> Scott has his job work that he works at, and I have my job. And my job is really being a mom, and I feel like I'm not doing a very good job. How and do you think you'll ever make him listen to you? I truly don't know. 
It was like hitting my head against a brick wall oh. all the time. <laughs> Mum and Dad are having a struggle communicating between the pair of them. And right now, Jen is not feeling like she's being heard. What are your plans today? We're going to try to go to the mall, the fo all of us. We'll keep our fingers crossed that that works out okay. <laughs> okay. So that's troublesome then? I have no control whatsoever, so um, I, it just it scares me to death. Okay. Okay, come on. Blake, guys, out of the road. Out of the street, please. Okay, stop, Blake! Did you see that car? Come on, on the sidewalk, please. Blake, what's wrong? As soon as we arrived at the mall, Blake was just running off in every direction. He went into every shop. He didn't want to listen. Blake, this way. Blake, Blake. Blake, seriously, OK? Blake, come here. Do not run. Do not run. There he goes. <laughs> you know, at one stage, I thought I'd have to take off my heels myself and run for him. I just had to run off Holding because head up. Blake was going by the elevator and I was scared he was going to get in and go down and leave Mum up here. Step back. You've got to let the people get out first. No, 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 no. You cannot run into a store without me. Do you understand? Blake! What is it? No, step away. Do not. Blake went from refusing to stay still to refusing to move. Get up. Get up. Come on, let's go. The longer we stayed at the mall, the worse things got. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. We've got a mother that's just left. Two children, including a baby. That's three children here while she's had to run off and get Blake from the toy shop. No. Look what's had to happen. I've had to leave all the kids. This is not working. The kids snack all the time. There you go. I don't even know how many times I saw those children go into the pantry. This is the biggest candy pantry I've ever seen. I've just been in the pantry and it's like candy land in there. There are so many treats and sweets and cookies and candies. I mean, my God, it's packed. No wonder why Jennifer's having problems with the children eating. They're filling themselves up on that old rubbish. Nope, no more. Done. Hey. Done. Open up. No. No more snacks. So, Scott, with Jennifer, you both agree <laughs> with the children when it comes to snack times? No, we do not no, agree. No, I don't think at we all. agree. No, we, com we completely disagree. <laughs> Scott feels it's fine for them to come and get a snack. And it's fine for me, too, as long as there's a limit set. It's our problem is agreeing on that limit. So I can pretty much say that you are definitely on separate pages when it comes to snack time. Yeah, you can say that. That's you a can, fair statement. You can say that. <laughs> snack time needs to be sorted out ASAP. As soon as they sat down at lunchtime, the children were up, out of their seats. One was getting a drink, the other one didn't want their food. Stay here. Yes. I'd like to have us all sit down at the same time. <laughs> it's typical of meal times. Oh, absolutely. And I'd really like us to be able to all sit down together. Oh. Have some cheese. Chew it and swallow it, please. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Blake decided that he didn't want to eat his food, so he started to get up from the table and spit everything into the trash can. Is this common for Blake? Yeah, he'll uh, stuff his cheeks pretty much full and go spit it out. If he doesn't eat, it's not a big deal because he'll drink his chocolate milk. And it's so he's nourished, he's healthy, I don't have a problem with it. Blake doesn't eat his food and he survives on chocolate milk. I mean, what kind of kid can survive on chocolate milk? Dad doesn't think it's a problem. That's ridiculous. So that conflicts with Jenny's point of view? Um, yeah, I mean, I think she wants him to stay and sit down and eat lunch, but he's active, he's always up and down. It's just the way he is. So how do you guys resolve your conflicting opinions as a couple? <laughs> We really don't, do we? No.
When I first meet a family, I watch how the family dynamics work. The Ryrie family had issues that needed addressing. Right, Jen and Scott, <laughs> I've observed your family, so let's go into the next room and discuss what I've seen. Okay, great. Okay. Having Joe come in and critiquing us, I'm stressed out, I'm anxious, I'm scared, but I'm definitely looking forward to getting as much help as we can. <laughs> wow. You are, as an English woman, I can sit here and say the American dream. <laughs> Thank you. Your children are absolutely adorable, and I think as parents, you should be very proud of that and what you've achieved. Thank you. However, I can see this going down to a road of a nightmare if you guys are not careful. I would like to talk about Blake running across this road where he could be hit by a car. I mean, that's dangerous. Here one minute, gone the next. Yeah. He's three years old. He has free reign at all times. Scott, you're laughing. Why are you laughing? That's the way I was when I was younger. Well, we can all thank our lucky stars you're still living. Yeah, cars do come and go down the street, but generally he's... But see, the problem is, Scott, it's just not at home that he does it. Let's talk about Blake out in public running off. Why has it become a situation where you think it's very important, but Scott, you're relaxed about it? And that, to me, is shocking. It's shocking that you both as parents are not doing enough to make sure that your child is protected from harm's way. And that's not something to be laughed at, it's really not. And you need to come together on the same page. Let's talk about snacks. The children can freely go and help themselves in the pantry to snacks. And meal times are now becoming a situation where you have no control. They're telling you what they're going to eat and when they're going to eat it. That's got to stop. Discipline. You both need to be in control of that so your children are not running right on the pair of you. Mm -hmm. The pair of you are equal as far as child rearing mm -hmm. and Jennifer needs to feel that her husband is on the same side as her. You undermined what Jennifer's feeling. Correct me if I'm wrong, Jennifer. No, it's true, it's true. Scott, you need to respect what Jennifer is feeling. <laughs> You're devaluating every opinion she has as a parent, and you need to support her as she supports you. Right. And Jennifer, as much as I sit here and tell Scott... Oh, I'm just as much as to blame. You need to pull your weight as well. Definitely. You need to stand as a solid, united front for your children. Scott, are you up and willing to put the hard work in and, and do this and change it. Sure. Jennifer? I'm ready. <laughs> Good, let's get started as soon as possible. <laughs> Great. <laughs> the meeting with Joe was pretty rough. I felt picked on. I really think she pretty much hit the nail on the head with all of the issues that, you know, she brought up. I mean, it's kind of a slap in the face, but it's one that we, Scott and I both needed. I'm excited to go into the Ryrie family and make changes for them in a positive way because there's a lot of stake here, a lot at stake. Family routine. OK, very good. Joe brought in a routine that really categorised basically just our time throughout the day. Putting the snacks at these times are going to keep the children going. Right. It's not going to take them away from them, but right. at the same time, it's going to keep them going and Absolutely. fuel. Because they do engage in activities. They do need a snack to keep going. Right. What it won't do now is mess up your meal times. Yeah. So that your children are not going to want to eat their dinner. I think the structured snack times will have an incredible effect on our family. I think meal times are just going to get better and better. Blake likes to push over the boundaries. And when it comes to mum and dad disciplining them, they never follow through. So that needs to change completely. Blake, you have to respect your mummy and daddy and listen to what they are saying. Any smart mouthing, which is talking back and being rude, that's not acceptable behaviour. Listen. Blake, can you turn around, please, and listen to Jojo? When your mummy and daddy say to you, no, stop that, if you don't listen to mummy and daddy, they're going to make you sit on this. 
all right? And this is called the Naughty Circle. And you'll stay there for three minutes because you're three years old. I think the Naughty Circle will work for Blake because he hates being confined to any type of an area. I'm now going to show you guys the Naughty Room. Since the Naughty Circle is inappropriate for Celia and Horden, I've introduced the Naughty Room. And that's where they will go if they behave unacceptably. This yeah. is the Naughty Room, huh? Don't want to be in here, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. Blake, you stay right there, right? Later that afternoon, Blake went to run across the road and Mum said, stop. He actually looked round at her and carried on. <laughs> Listen to me. Listen to me. I told you to stop. You do not stay in the road. You do not run in the road. And you do not tell me no. Come on. Mum gave Blake a warning, but he didn't listen to her, so she put him straight onto the naughty circle. You cannot run in the road. Why? Because it's dangerous and a car could come and hurt you. Roads are for cars, they're not for people. Because you didn't listen to Mummy, you now have to sit on the naughty circle for three minutes. And when you go back, Jennifer, I want you to explain to Blake why you put him there. Say, I want an apology, please, because you did not listen to me. OK. OK, Blake. You had to come on the naughty circle because you didn't listen to Mommy, right? No. Blake, look at me. I want an apology. I want you to tell me you're sorry for not listening to me. Said he's sorry. Up you get from the circle. Okay. Hugs and kisses. Up, up. Come on. Thank you. Kisses. Hold no grudges. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay. The next step is vital that locks go on the doors to prevent him from running out. Blake, look, we've got here. Okay, this is a lock. This is a lock that's going to go on this door. Okay. Look. When you want to go across and play with your friends, you have to ask mummy and daddy first because it's dangerous outside. When you see this sign, stop. OK? Big sign. And every time you come to this door, you'll see that sign. Stop. You go and find Mummy and Daddy and say, Mummy and Daddy, I want to play. I want to play with my friends. It's my deal. I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the stop will at least give Blake the connection he needs that, oh, I see this sign, that means I have to go ask Mom and Dad. And then obviously the locks being there will prevent him from leaving the house. I think it should have been done a long time ago. I think this will be very effective. It's so crucial that Jennifer maintains control over Blake when she's out in public because there's safety that needs to be considered here. So we went to the park today and I taught Jennifer the Roman technique. Now that we're here, I want you to come down to the children's level and explain. We're at the park now, we're going to have fun, all right? Mm -hmm. But what I want you to do is stay by Mummy's side, okay? okay? This is the sign, stop. And when Mummy says, with a low-toned, authoritative voice, stop, and puts her hand up, and get the boys to do the same, I want you to stop where you are. So your children know that they have to stay quite near to you, yeah. but you're also giving them freedom, okay. that they don't have to be tied completely to you. Okay. If you carry on running, then Mummy will ask you to come back, and you'll have to hold on to the buggy. Here's the deal, OK? While we're walking, you can walk right next to me. But if Mummy says stop and puts her hand up, do this. You guys do it too. Stop. Say stop. 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 Good. Stop. I really am hopeful that this technique will work because it's it's vital that we go out in public. Yeah. You just hold on. No, no you can't not right run now. yet. No, Blake, tell him, stop. Here. Blake, stop. Blake, Blake, stop. Stop, Blake. What? Come over Time here. To come over to you. Blake, come on. Come here, Blake, real quick. Woo! He saw the bench and he wanted to go on it. Mm -hmm. But that's going to happen when he sees a cuddly toy or a toy right. in the shop and he's going to want to go in it. Right. You did say stop and he didn't yep. listen. Yeah, come here. Listen. Listen okay. to Mommy. And a low tone voice with this. Listen to Mommy. Two times Mommy said stop and you kept going for the bench. I need you to hold on now for a little bit. Because okay? you should have listened. You should have listened to me the first time, okay? 
Thank you. Let's go. Hold on, get him to hold Keep on. As soon on. as his hand goes off, you say hold Thank on. Thank you. Okay. okay so Blake. you can walk beside now if you want you to. You can walk go on off. your own now, sweetie. You but don't when want I say to hold stop, on. it's stop. Okay. Okay. Hey. Stop. Stop, Blake. Stop. Put your hands out so you recognize the hand. Good job! You have I'm so impressed that he's Very listening good. to me. <laughs> I don't know how to react. <laughs> good job, Blake. You can keep running. Very good. This technique is great. I'm very impressed just because this is the most relaxed I've been at the park for I ever <laughs> as a mom, definitely. Blake, you listened so well. Thank you. Jennifer and Scott allow their children to have snacks 24-7. It's really important that snacking becomes regulated. These jars are your snack jars. And this is where your snacks are going to go. Having snacks is a good idea because I like to eat. This is the key thing. If you don't ask mommy and daddy first, if you can have your snack, then there'll be no snacks for the rest of the day. I'm about to go through woo, some serious snacks. Because I am going to clear the snacks that I think are absolute trash. Okay. And in this clear box, we're going to put all the remaining snacks that are left over that are good, OK? So you can keep filling up oh, the jar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're not having those right now. We're cleaning with JoJo. No. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, all gone. You're only allowed to have three snacks a day. Choose three snacks to go in your snack jar. Oh, two snacks! OK. Boy. I love it. We'll switch cookies going? for an apple. An apple, or do you want the cheese? <laughs> Good job! Thanks, guys! Oh, it's getting heavy. It's very important that the snack technique works. I definitely hope to see a benefit with mealtime. Mum and Dad are not on the same page when it comes to parenting. Mum wants things a certain way, and Dad wants things his way. Jennifer? Oh, OK. Scott? What I would like you both to do is to write down what you need from one another. This is going to help them validate their feelings and then appreciate and see what each other is thinking and how they want to resolve it. OK? Mm -hmm. I'd like you to explain to Scott okay. exactly what you need from him. OK. I need Scott to talk to me away from the kids about parenting issues that he doesn't agree with me on. I need Scott to support me in my discipline of Blake, especially concerning his safety. Yeah, I agree. I mean, there's, we really don't discuss parenting that often. It's nice we sit down and discuss these things, so it's things we need to work out. I agree. I thought the same page was a good idea because the kids won't be confused about how they're getting parented. I like what's happening here. Yeah, I do too. Because <laughs> what I'm seeing is, is you two, for the first time, coming on to the same page. And, yeah. and, and that's <laughs> what this is about. I think it's a great idea, and it's something that forces us to really sit down together and actually discuss you know, what's bothering us or what's going on. You must be starving now, Scott. Pizza, now that the kids aren't snacking all day long, when it comes to meal times, they sit down with no fuss at all. Blake, you really need a piece of pizza. The next step was to encourage Blake to eat the food that was prepared for him. In this case, it was pizza. I want you to have three bites. Do you think he could survive on three bites until tomorrow morning? Well, no. OK, so be real with it. And then just give all the kids praise and encouragement, because they also need to know when they're doing well, because it encourages them to carry on that behaviour. OK. Get back up there. We're not done yet. You have to eat the pizza before you can leave the table. Blake is a really fussy eater. He will only eat his carrots, but he doesn't want his pizza. Little things that will help you. So if you see he's going for one item of food first, watch and just say, two more carrots, and then you have to have two bites of pizza before you can have some more carrots. If you eat pizza, you can either have carrots or chocolate milk, whichever you prefer. Here. No. Open. No, you don't. Hey. Take a bite. No. Did you take a bite? No, Brody. Good boy. Give a price, though. Good job. Good. 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 Good.
Yeah. Meal time was fantastic. Blake would eat. All the kids were really polite. So it was it was one of the best dinners we've had in a long time. Right, this is uh, where I say goodbye. I'm leaving the family for a couple of days so that they can carry on with the techniques that they've learnt. And number one, discipline. Give a warning first. Out in public, Jennifer. I want you to really, really practice that roaming technique. And the last but not least is keep talking. Okay. Address the situations together. Work as a team. Thank you. You're welcome. You take care. And I'll see you in a couple of days. Okay, okay. Scott, take care. Thanks, you too. See you in a couple of days. Yeah. Thank okay. you. You're welcome. We'll be counting the hours. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, really. I'm scared <laughs> to be without Joe. She just offers so much insight, and I feel just much more confident when she's around. I hope I can do it. I hope I am strong enough to handle it. They do need to learn as parents have to do this on their own. So let's see how they get on. Honey, that's not yours. That's I'm us. nervous to not have Jo here. Uh, she does tend to give me a little confidence boost when she's around. This isn't to go around your neck. That's not safe. No. You tell me no one more time and you're going to go on the naughty circle. Do you understand no. me? Come on, let's go. No. Discipline for Blake. You're going on the naughty circle. Sit. You're going in the no, naughty room. I didn't do exactly. You didn't obey mommy and you lied to mommy. <laughs> Mom's in discipline for Horden. <laughs> Reading the paper. How come dad isn't doing any of the discipline here? Hey Scott, can I talk to you for a minute about the same page stuff. Good. I'm glad Mom's using the same page technique. Is there something you wanted to talk about? Um, I had Halden in the naughty room twice, and then I had Blake on the naughty circle, mm -hmm. and you were just kind of wandering through the house. Dad, hello! I mean, what was going on? It seemed like whenever something went wrong that you were there to discipline him. No, sometimes I think you just try to ignore what's going on because you don't want to deal with it, is really what I think, so. Well, I wasn't ignoring, I was just, okay. I wasn't even aware. Okay. Come on, guys, bring it together. I feel totally all this pressure on me, you know, when I'm the one doing everything. Well, they've been trying to push their limits with you because they know that you'll say, oh, let me get your dad. If you don't stick together, how are you going to run your household effectively? Wait for mom. Oh, good job. <gasps> Yay! Hi, honey. Blake, where are you going? How was work? Hello, lock the door. You forgot. Now he's running out of the house. Wake up, this is dangerous. Blake, what did I just talk about? What did I just say about not leaving? Blake, look at me. Didn't I just say, don't leave? Look at me. Why are you grabbing him by the face? You do not walk out the front door without me. You're intimidating him. Get down to his level. You hold on to the stroller while we're in the parking lot. Just like that, perfect. Oh, this is good. Mum's taken the kids to the mall again, like I asked her to. Let's see how she gets on with the roaming technique. You guys, you can stand right next to the stroller. Would you please stop that? It is a huge deal going to the mall by myself without Joe. It's horrifying to me. Blake's running off. Stop, Blake, stop. Mummy's not listening to you. Get him back and make him hold on to the stroller. Now Blake's behavior in the mall frustrates me to no end, and I'm just constantly anxious, constantly stressed out and scared. You're never gonna be able to go out in public. I've gotta get back to your house now. Oh, hi, you're here, good. When I come back, I show them footage of themselves whilst I've not been there. I've been having a look, so let's go through and talk about what's on this. Okay. Okay. Great. It's an important part 
of the journey that I go through with the families so they can see where they've made mistakes. You're going on the naughty circle. Sit. <laughs> Talk to me. That is so you. That's not how it was. What's happening with the same page? I was really frustrated. Scott was just kind of wandering through the house, totally oblivious to what was <laughs> going on with the children and the discipline. Let's not get lazy here, Scott. Make sure you do that as well. Then you won't have a wife who thinks that she's taken on all the responsibility in the house. Both pull together and pull your weight in. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not how it was. Yeah, it is exactly how it was. Yeah, it is. <laughs> how was work? Blake, what did I just talk about? Didn't I just say, I don't just leave? Walk. Look at me. You do not walk out the front door without me. What happened? Did just you tell me? totally spaced it. Just shut the door and walked away. <laughs> didn't follow through. You are lucky, the mm -hmm. pair of you. Yeah. That your little boy didn't run out. Don't need to be locked. Yeah. yeah. And on top of that, the poor little fella gets his cheek squashed like a hamster. Come down to their level, because then they're looking up like this, and then you're saying, you're not looking at me, and then you grab. Mm -hmm. You guys, you can stand right next to the stroller. Blake, stop. If I say stop and you go beyond that, then we have to pull the reins back in again. And you're going to have to hold on to the handles of the stroller. Mm -hmm. The roaming technique, you can go off or you can stay by the side. But when I say stop, then you must stop. Short and simple. Mm -hmm. If you do anything less, you're going to lose control with the situation. Today, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick around and watch you guys, and I'm going to help you both reinforce all those techniques that need tweaking. I was really surprised at how many times we messed up. Because <laughs> I really thought things were going so much better. I felt that it was very important that I reinforce the Roman technique. Today I went with Jennifer and all four children, and off we went to the mall for another test run. I'm still a bit insecure, I guess, about my parenting skills, so I'm still not 100% confident, but it's getting better. Definitely. Right, get Blake and tell him to hold on because you hadn't said he could go. Mommy didn't say you could leave. Come on, you're stronger than him. Put his hand up and on the railing. Okay, lift him up. Stand up. Stand up. Hand. Let's go. Right, let's go. Let's go. Come on. Okay, excellent, excellent. Blake, sit down. Mommy's gonna go get cookies. I want you guys to sit here and don't leave that chair while I'm gone. Blake's doing much better. You're more direct, Jennifer. Yeah. And your tone of voice is different now. When you drop your tone of it voice, makes a he knows you're being difference. serious. Yeah. This is amazing. <laughs> This is manageable. I'm very proud of Jennifer. She's done a very, very good job with managing all four children. This means we can come out and we can go to the park. We can do all kinds of fun things. Yeah, the technique has just worked amazingly well. And now I feel like I can totally take the kids out on my own. And we're having, yeah, a great time. It's great. <laughs> Give me five. Yeah. If Scott and Jennifer don't come together on the same page, then they'll find themselves back to square one again. So I brought you guys together today because I want you to concentrate on communicating and developing that. Scott, I'd like you to tell Jennifer things that you feel honestly she needs to work on. Um, I think you need to work on just the way you talk to Hall or uh, Blake. You, know, you like force them to go places. If I tell Hall then or Blake to go do something, mm -hmm. they do it. They do. You what are a bit bigger you? and scarier than me. But still, I need to know that you're backing me up 100% with what I do, yeah, yeah. you know? Okay. okay. The whole same page idea made us realize, you know, we really just want the same things for our children. <laughs> I think the same page will help Jen and I become better parents because it gives us a chance to sit down and actually have a discussion about how things are going. I am very proud of the pair of you of what you are achieving here today with the same page and everything. <laughs> it's important to have encouragement from one another. Definitely. I love you. I love you. 
<laughs> I'm only going now before I go all sloppy <laughs> and leave you to get on. <laughs> Now that Jen and Scott are on the same page, it's important that Scott helps out with the discipline. Blake, don't jump on the furniture. I had a tendency to be lazy about parenting in the past, and this is definitely helping you know, me get more involved with the kids. Blake, if I have to ask you again, you're going to go on the naughty circle. Right, Scott, if you can just follow that through with Blake. OK, that's it, Blake. Come on, let's get on the naughty circle. Pardon me? I asked you not to play on the furniture, and you didn't listen. It was amazing for me to see Scott put Blake on the naughty circle. He took that initiative, and that, for me, was just absolute triumph. So can you tell me sorry for jumping on the furniture when I asked you not to? OK, give me hugs. Putting Blake on the naughty circle, I feel in control of the situation, because I think he's learning the discipline and the rules of the household. Your time's done. Ah! Good job. Fantastic, Scott. When I first arrived at the Ryrie household, they had no discipline for the children. So now the children know there is a consequence for unacceptable behaviour. And because of that, we have happier parents and we have children who know where they stand. And these are from the kids <laughs> and all of their that's me. <laughs> little artists. That's me. <laughs> that's you. And that's Brody, and he's pointing at your shoes. <laughs> I'm going. Take care, darling. Take care. Bye-bye. Um, you be good children, OK? Bye-bye, Joel. Thanks for coming. Bye. Say bye Bye-bye, Bye-bye, sweetie. My children. You be a good boy now, OK? OK. Listen to Mummy and Daddy, OK? OK. I'm very proud of Jennifer and Scott. They've come a long way. Jen, take care. Thank you. It was very emotional saying goodbye to Joe. There are not enough words to express the gratitude that we feel. You're welcome. Take care. Thank you. Scott, keep talking to the wife. Sorry. Open up. <laughs> I was skeptical before Joe came, but overall, all the things that we wanted Joe to help us with, she's been very helpful with. In comparison to what it was like in the beginning, there's been major milestones that have happened here. And they deserve it. Come pick your snacks for tomorrow. Our family is just, it's a different family. It's just, it's like Invasion of the Body Snatchers. I don't know who these people are. <laughs> it's wonderful. And what else? Blake's behavior has improved tenfold. Looks good. He's definitely starting to listen to me, which is just monumental. You can't even imagine. The kids eat their meals rather than the snacks throughout the day. Meal time definitely worked out. Fabulous. I am so proud of Scott. I just feel like I've got a total partner, and I don't have to carry everything on my shoulders now. I can share it with him. <laughs> I do think this experience has made us better parents. I think when we're on the same page and working together, the kids see that, and they see that Jen and I are on one side. This has affected us so much more than I ever, ever thought it would. One of the first times that I had met with Joe, she said, you know, wow, you're really living the American dream. but." After this experience, you know, it's Joe gave us our life back, and, and that's our American dream. And she did. I mean, she, she, gave, us, she gave us our family back.